before I go any further, what I want to do is uh, make a couple of keys out of a piece of aluminum to mount under the bottom here that will fit in the track, one for this end and one for this end over here. And what that will do is uh, I can slide it or set it down into the track to help keep it square rather than relying on just these marks that we made earlier. That will help true it up. So we'll put two little small screws through the bottom on each end into two little small pieces of uh, basically a key made out of aluminum which will be drilled and tapped. What I ended up having to do to mark the where the keys go was, was to mark the slot on the ends and then transfer that to the back. Take this thing off the uh, table, turn it upside down, transfer the lines to the bottom, and then uh, mark them the distance from the edge and the center distance between the two holes. Marked them with the center punch and. Uh, drilled from the bottom. I should have went about it a different way. I should have drilled the holes in these first and then laid the pieces in the track and used a transfer punch through these holes to mark the aluminum keys, but I didn't think about that at the time. So hopefully this will be close enough to be lined up from one side to the other where it will slide in the track. <laughs>
Well, these two lined up. See how the other side does. I can't believe they both lined up. Well, that worked out pretty good. And it looks like we're pretty close to our mark here. Original mark. Maybe just a hair off. But what I might do is run the router bit down the inside edge here and here just to barely skim it to make sure that it's square. That way anything we put in the corner here will be square and parallel to the x-axis on the router. Now let's see how square that is. It's off just a hair. It could be the X and Y is off a little bit. I hope not. That's what it looks like. Unless this square is off. Actually, that square looks dead on. Of course, it's short on one leg. So. It looks like it's dead on it. Let's try this speed square. It looks like it's dead on it, too. So I think we're good. Well now it's time to route the holes in the top piece of MDF, quarter inch MDF. We'll place it in the corner there. I've already zeroed the X and Y axis to the X0, uh, Y0 hole in the fixture itself. So all we have to do is zero the uh, Z axis.
But now we have to hook up the vacuum to hold this piece of quarter inch down. And we'll put the dust shoe on and hook up the shock back to it and get started. I've already got a little program in Mach 3 pulled up to route the holes. Well, I didn't have the Z set deep enough in the program that holes didn't go all the way through. So I have to think about what to do with that. May have to run it again. Well, I just ran the program a second time. I went a little deeper, about 30 thousandths deeper in the holes. So let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Take a file and get one of those little birds. I think that's going to be okay. Now what I need to do is draw an outline of the biggest part, which is the fronts and backs of my pickup winders. So I know when I place it on there, I'll be within that line. And of course, once we cut the first one, it'll cut an outline into this, which will be a guide from then on. So I'll get set up and do that. The vacuum that I'm using for the vacuum fixture is a uh, rigid 16 gallon, 5 horsepower shop vac. It seemed to hold the quarter inch uh, top plate down. So we'll see how it does on an actual part. Seems to be holding pretty good.
let's see how we did. I didn't see it move any, so it stayed held down to the fixture pretty good. We get a square and check it, and see how well it cut square. Pretty good that way. That's off just a hair. Off a hair that way. Check my measurements. Five inches. Hair over five inches. Seven and three sixteenths. Seven and three sixteenths. So we cut a sixteenth short. I'm about to recalibrate the Y axis and try another piece. Well, I calibrated the Y axis, so let's try again with another part and see how it does. <laughs> Looks like it's pretty good. Just a strong seven and a quarter now. So I think that'll be okay. We'll take it over and clean it up and then uh, check it again. Well, ran it over on the just drug it across the sander just to deburr the edges a little bit. And it looks like it's pretty pretty good. Five inches. And it's just like I said, it's strong, seven and a quarter. So I think I can live with that. Well, there's the fixture. Turned out pretty good and it's doing what I want it to do so far. So when we run some other parts, some of the smaller parts will just lay a piece over here. I position the holes so that if I do one part will be here, I'll lay a piece here and there and so forth so I can use this for most all the parts that I need for the pickup winders. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.